welcome to Puerto Galera. Here we stayed in a resort with its own private beach for only pesos. Here we'll be showcasing four different resorts in Puerto Galera for you to experience one of the most biodiverse dive sites in the world. Puerto Galera is home to some lesser known but absolutely stunning beaches. But aside from the long stretches of fine cream colored sand, what makes this a must visit destination is what's underneath. According to a world renowned marine biologist, the Verde Island Passage is the center of the center of marine biodiversity and is found just above Puerto Galera. So for scuba divers or anyone who really appreciates marine life, this is a must visit. Puerto Galera is located in Mindoro Island and the two main beaches here are White Beach where we enjoyed some of the water sports and Sabang Beach which is more focused on the scuba diving facilities. To get there, you need to ride a Roro Ferry from Batangas Port to Balatero Port if you are going to the White Beach area or Muelle Port if you're going to Sabang. And this is where our first resort is located, Steps Garden Resort. Strategically located in the heart of Sabang Beach, Steps Garden is surrounded by a lot of good restaurants like the Tamarind Restaurant where we enjoyed some of the best steaks in the whole island. Along with some delicious pasta and wine. Despite the lively atmosphere in Sabang, Steps Garden is in an elevated area where you can have a peaceful stay in the middle of this huge property with its pristine white and stylish villas and beautiful views of the sea elevating the whole experience. You can probably guess why this place is called Steps Garden as you need to walk up some stairs to get to your room. The rooms are cozy and can accommodate a lot of people. The three of us boys stayed in this family suite room with two separate bedrooms and a huge balcony. While Angelica and Eileen stayed in this spacious executive suite with a comfy and huge bed that also comes with a mini balcony. The food here is also top tier because they serve the same food in Tamarind restaurant so you don't have to go far for yummy food. Nestled at the bottom of the resort is a bean-shaped pool right in front of the bar where you can relax and casually have a drink. While the next resort is still located in Sabang area and is focused more on the scuba diving facility, Steps Garden is really about giving you that relaxing and cozy accommodation while exploring the island. Now, how much does it cost to stay here? The prices here range from 1,900 for their standard economy rooms all the way to 9,900 for their penthouse family suite. So there's a wide range of room types for you to choose from. Of course, prices will vary depending on the season, so make sure to check out the description for the links that I will provide. The next resort is a few blocks away, Mermaid Resort. Still in Sabang, this is one of the pioneer resorts here in Puerto Galera and it's one of the go-to places for scuba and I'll show you why. So this is the first resort you will come across when entering the Sabang area and is surrounded by a lot of good food places and other establishments for your daily needs. The only parking area in Sabang is also located nearby if you're bringing your own car. This is one of the most well-maintained resorts in the area despite being here for around 20 years. The rooms are all simple and very comfortable and some rooms even come with their own bathtub and jacuzzi. It is also very clean as I'm told that the owners take cleanliness very seriously. The food here is very unassuming but wow, they make really good food and the servings here are pretty big. And my favorite is their chicken curry. It tastes very homey and the ingredients are always fresh. They also have a pool table here by the restaurant which made our stay more enjoyable. While our next two resorts are pretty interesting because they are both beachfront properties, Mermaid is still one of the go-to accommodations for scuba diving. 
They have this stylish pool at the bottom where you can begin your pool, scuba sessions for beginners, and after this, they will bring you to the main diving quarters by the bay area. The Mermaid Dive Center offers paddy courses ranging from beginner to dive master level and a full range of scuba diving services to make your diving experience very comprehensive and super fun. Now, the prices here range from 3,000 pesos all the way to 10,000 pesos, depending on the room type that you need. But again, I'll be including the links in the description to help you guys out. And the next resort is only a few minutes away by car, but is located in a different beach, La Laguna Beach Club. La Laguna Beach Club is in Big La Laguna Beach, which is in a more quiet side of Sabang, so you can enjoy a more tranquil stay, and it's a beachfront property, so you can easily go out and take a dip. The design of the resort is very rustic, and the rooms here are among the most spacious we've had. The beds are very comfy, and you can enjoy a beautiful view of the beach from most of the rooms available here. The vibe here is very lively, and the staff are also very friendly. The scuba diving facility here is also top-notch. I find this to be the most convenient place for scuba as they have the diving center within the resort property. They also have the mandatory diving pool here in the middle and they also have a cute spa area for a relaxing massage after a long dive session. And they also have a nice lounge area with a pool table and a balcony to chill out and have a good time. This resort is a more laid-back and quiet place to stay and is generally geared towards bigger groups and mostly families. Now while the next resort is located in a different island in itself, the La Laguna Beach Club I think is a very holistic and affordable place for you to have a fruitful diving session. Now the prices for the accommodations here range from 3,000 to 7,000 pesos per night and with all these accommodations, I have a special discount via Klook. But feel free to canvas all the other booking sites that I will list below. And finally, the last one on our list is Friday's Puerto Galera. Located on Bokeh Island, otherwise known as Panikian Island, the staff instructed us to park in the sandbar while they had to pick us up with their own speedboat to get to the resort. So in terms of location, it might be a little more difficult for you to access other establishments in Puerto Galera, but that's not much of a problem because this place will give you everything you'll need for a perfect getaway. Fridays is a huge property with over six tropical houses that will host the most relaxing stay that you will ever have in Puerto Galera. This is a one-bedroom accommodation, but just look at how big this is. Everything here feels very premium from the bathrooms, the bed, and just the entire space. Outside, you have a huge pool for your diving sessions, and the spaces outside will bring you closer to nature as you hear the birds chirping and the waves crashing away from all the distractions of the town. One of our favorite parts of the resort experience here is the food. This is their restaurant and they served us a lot of really artful dishes from the delectable Filipino food to the jam-packed breakfasts. We always had a good time every time we ate here. The thing I appreciate from really high-end resorts like this is the attention to detail. Because they served us snacks during merienda, which might not seem like much, but it's a very thoughtful gesture that only a handful of accommodations do. And the staff are super accommodating and helpful and is always there to assist you with whatever you need. And of course, our stay in Puerto Galera wouldn't be complete if we didn't try the scuba diving. It's Angelica's first time scuba diving and despite our lack of experience, we had such a great time and the guides were very professional and handled us smoothly. Let's go, Angelica! Yeah. Thank you, Fridays! Thank you, Fridays! <laughs> now, the question is how much does it cost to stay here? Now, since this resort is in the higher end side, the cheapest room I found here is at around 6,800 per night 
in the room I stayed in, which is twice the base rate of the other resorts we featured. But the quality is also elevated here, which I think really makes this a dream destination. But with all the resorts we showcased, each one really caters to different travelers. And despite the difference in what these places offered, we honestly enjoyed all our stays. So I hope this video helped you decide on where to stay when you finally visit the diving capital of the Philippines and join us as we travel the Philippines with purpose. Maraming salamat and paalam.